Hey guys, it's Jason with your Hobium Free Crypto channel. Today is an exciting day. It looks like we are starting to get the first glimpses of a turnaround in Bitcoin. Now, I'm not saying that this is the ultimate low in this bearish period, but it does look like it has some good legs just to give us a little bit of a relief and potentially start its way to stair stepping itself out of these doldrum levels of the 30,000s. So today I'm going to go through Bitcoin. We've got the Bitcoin fear and greed plan to add to to show us our overall position. This is our purchasing plan at these lows to keep us in the game buying when the retail is scared and not buying. And I've got a ton of charts to get through with some of the top 20 cryptocurrencies as we've been looking at alts versus the BTC value for quite some time. So this dip is looking pretty sweet, but we also want to check it against the alts and their BTC value. So you guys know what to do. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, bell notification icon, like the video up. Let's dive in. We've got a lot to get through. So let's crack on with the coin market caps of our favorite cryptos market cap the total 1.36 remember our 50 percent level which was our support zone of 1.34 has been broken and we're looking like we're going to hold that level maybe we'll close above it we still have about 14 hours to go in this trading period as i film this so you guys will see this in about an hour or two bitcoin 636 billion eth 230 billion which leaves us at a bitcoin dominance of 47 percent and ETH of 17%. So we'll look at the dominance as well because that is going to play into our thesis of alts and their BTC value long term. Now we have seen a little bump on many of these alts over the last 10 or so hours, but again, we need to see some rises because I think long term we're still going to see some falls in the BTC value. Just remember that part there. Okay, so we're going to look at uh, Doge today, ETH, Cardano, uh, we got Solana, Chainlink, Matic, Theta, and we'll wrap it up with one of my favorites at the end. Over to Twitter first. So this is what I put up this morning by Bitcoin. This is a slogan, not financial advice. Uh, make sure you're checking out Twitter. Go and follow that. It's easier, quicker to post about cryptos over there. And I also do chart updates. So make sure you're checking that out. It's been pretty bang on so far. And speaking of bang on, Michael, my brother, who's been trading for 11 years, he trades the financial markets, so your futures like oils, golds, uh, the S&P, that's, uh, that's his game. And he's also getting into Bitcoin now because you can trade this on futures. So go and follow Mick as well, really on to the money with Gann and Wyckoff. He was the one that got me into Gann and Wyckoff. Something interesting I want to come up. I don't often go through some of my subscriptions here, but look at this. 19 hours ago, we were getting uh, titles and this isn't anything to do with the people, all right? So it's got nothing to do with the... The guys themselves but bitcoin bear market confirmed 18 hours ago and i'm only looking at the titles you know i i do accuse people of just doing that as well maybe there's some other details in the videos but the main thing here is this is what people are searching for that's why i'm not having a go at these guys here but it's what people are searching for market crash crypto crash uh bitcoin the bear market blues but bear market down crypto bear market preparing for a bear market 19 17 hours ago Fast forward to the last few hours. Now all we see is green. Bottoming is, bottom is in. We're seeing uh, the market go up. We've got Bitcoin. Sold the bottom. The bottom's coming up. So this is where I see the market start to get their idea of what's fearful and what is more exciting and where we think the market should be heading. So the news, the sentiment has changed. Speaking of which, fear and greed index 14. Remember our plan over here, we're looking at 15s. Rule, buy Bitcoin on open if fear is 15 or less. I've done so today, 23.6, so 23rd of June. The price, 32509 another $1,000 of 0.0307607071. Okay, that's the Bitcoin we've purchased. That's the total Bitcoin we've purchased. Uh, our plan, we're currently sitting around 34,000 as I film this. So we're down about 2% after investing 10 grand and uh, the total's 9,800. Now remember, this is not a complete plan. I do see you guys mentioning that in the comments that it's so great. Yes, it's. I think it's fantastic. Such an easy one just to have a look at and it keeps us in the game at the lows because this would keep you out of buying all of the tops. 
40,000, 50,000, 60,000, none of that BS on YouTube where you're just listening to people saying buy every freaking dip. Not all dips are created equal. The dips that we want to get are the tastier dips and these look like the tastier dips for now. Maybe we get the 20,000s, they're going to be even tastier. All right, but long term our view must be, if we're to follow something like this, must be that we're going to see Bitcoin at higher prices than what we're currently seeing it. Okay, so this is the plan. Looking pretty good so far. Emotions, well and truly down. I don't have to think anymore. I just do what the plan says. Having said that, it needs to be tested a lot more. We need an exit strategy. We need to make sure that 15 was the number. That was just chosen arbitrarily, okay? So there are all the details with this plan. Full video on that is on my channel as well. We need to add more to it. With that said, this is the Binance chart. So that's this is the price that I got it at for the open of today is 32,509. Current price is around 33,900. All right, so it's 100 bucks more just a couple of minutes ago. Okay, total market caps. We crashed through our 50% support and we are now trying to test to close above it. Remember this here, we're, we're about 14 hours away from close. Ideally, we want to see this close above the 50% and that goes for all of the charts. So the rules apply to all of the charts, crypto, stocks, anything that has a chart, the rules apply to that. And I'm just applying it now to looking at the total. So what does this say? At the moment, to me, it says, and this is across the board, a nice little blanket statement that it was time for a rally. We've had several days down. Look at the amount of pain that we have endured over the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days. And this is a, an advanced rule from GAN. He has a seven to 10 day rule, meaning markets can fall between seven to 10 days and then eventually you'll see a reversal. Okay, so again, his rules have been created over 100 years ago. You guys are interested in Wyckoff. Gan was also a trader at those times. I'm pretty sure they knew each other. They have their own specific ways of doing things. I suggest heavily studying them rather than going through YouTube and just flicking through all of these different titles which send us one way then send us the next. Total 2, looking okay. Total 2 is all of the cryptos except Bitcoin, all right? This looks like maybe we'll get a little bit of a bounce, but again, we are, we are much further under the 50% zone than we are with total one or just total because this one includes Bitcoin. And so there's a little more strength to Bitcoin, right? But we do need to wait to see that close above. Total two, a little further under, no Bitcoin. We have broken below these previous lows. Volume is here, but nowhere near as strong as what it was back here. So, you know, I'm not expecting any further downside prices in the short term hours to days, but we'll see. All right. Blanket rules for across many of these cryptos at the moment, which just gives a relief to the alts, which is what I'm seeing here on the dominance. This BTC has had a little reversal today. Ideally, we want to see this close higher to give the strength back to Bitcoin. And I do want to see these ranges extend. That's a little worrying to me at the moment. Uh, I do want to see this go up for another couple of days and then have its uh, cool off. We'll see. We'll see what happens from that point. Bitcoin, we all know what's happening from here. We had the nice bounce of the low. We are coming back for the short term. Again, this is applied to hours to days. Our long term plan is the fear and greed. Remember this, that's just getting us into the market and then we hold. So remember, this is divided up. We're looking at the market daily just to give us an idea of what's going on. And then we look at it weekly to monthly for our long term our long-term plans. And this gives us an entry on the daily to then hold for those longer periods of time. But we just want to know what's going on day to day so that we're not freaking out with all the different news headlines. And it gives us a little roadmap in the short term. So I'm seeing a little bit of upside here. Look, we're probably going to go back and test some of these levels. Everyone gets excited again. You'll see the posts on Twitter of calling 35,000. Wow, 36,000, 37,000, all this sort of stuff. And then we'll start to head back down again uh, just to probably come back and test. Ideally, the signal, let's see if we can hold some higher lows and then come back and test possibly somewhere through the middle there. Our 35, 36K is a good looking level that I want to get above and start to uh, test those levels higher. So I don't mind buying here, but I'm not saying that this is the ultimate low of this bearish period. I'm just saying that it is a good looking low, especially with the volume, the fake out, the shake out that just took out the previous low of the 19th of May. It looks good and we had a nice reversal. ETH. ETH is looking a little weaker. Again, little rally. This is on the dollar pairing. Underneath is 50%. Took out those lows here. It's good. Short term, not bad. 
ETH BTC still on this downtrend. So that's why I'm not looking too eager. I'm not too eager to get any of these uh, altcoins because they're still looking a little weak on their Bitcoin value. And I think they could probably squeeze out some more BTC value on the rest of these, including Cardano as well. But I'll mention BlockFi in case you want to, you know, you're holding some Bitcoin and you want to get some returns on it. BlockFi, 5% returns, 0 to 0 0.5 Bitcoin. So it's really only good for a little amount of BTC. Anything over that half a Bitcoin, then you go into only 2% returns. And I just don't think it's worthwhile at this point in time. However, stable coins are looking pretty good as returns for BlockFi. Yep, you can find a link to this in the description down below and you get some rewards if you use that link down below when you uh, put some money into BlockFi and start getting some interest on your crypto. ADA, this was on Twitter last night from myself. We're looking at all of these low points that it's been testing the dollar level. The ninth life has held ADA above the dollar. It did come very, very close, or at least on uh, Binance, it did break through a dollar. On some of the other charts, uh, like I was looking at here on Kraken, it just got to a dollar and point zero 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 four, right? So either way, basically a dollar. We've been out at about a dollar twenty four for ADA. I'm not saying this is going to hold either. Hopefully, we get some consolidation here for long term holders. Uh, otherwise, if we head lower, sweet. Let's keep buying up ADA between forty cents. And where we are now, dollar, dollar twenty. Let's hope we get to forty cents for a brief moment, all buy it up, and then we keep riding up again. Cardano BTC, I think we've probably got some more downside in us. This just looks a little weak. I'm not saying tomorrow. I'm just saying overall, we've gone up for a very long period of time since January. We have gone up. Okay, I can't expect it, and I'm not expecting it to hold up here and grind its way sideways and then go up again. It's possible, definitely possible, especially with smart contracts coming up, but I'm not holding my breath for something like this. All right, I am uh, potentially expecting a fall into the uh, sort of 3,000 to 2,700 level of the BTC, which is why I'm not buying altcoins just yet. It's a good turning point here for a, for a short term, as I've said with the others, but I want something more solid. And if it happens to rise first, then it gives me confirmation. And I'm saying, fine. I haven't lost out too much because I've been buying Bitcoin. Yes, I've lost a little bit of Bitcoin value here, but I've been gaining it on the dollar side. So I'm okay. Doge, just for the fun of it, Doge down heavily, well under its 50% level. Maybe we'll get a little turnaround here again. But long term, I think we still need to come back and test the single cent digits. Doge BTC crushed again. This is going to be a big loss, uh, big, pretty big losses for people that bought in these areas against their BTC value. Better off holding Bitcoin in my opinion, of course, not financial advice. Theta, one of the stronger ones on its BTC value. It is holding up at these levels. For me, as I've said, I still want to see some further downside just to uh, basically start to crush out some of the weaker hands. I still want to see some more volume come in. There was a lot of volume at these highs and little double top here. So if that was the double top, we put a chart on here, on here, on here, and we look to at least this level, but ideally somewhere around this 9,000 to 5,000 Satoshi. That's pretty far down. So I'm, I'm, I'm not holding my breath, but I'm hoping for around that 12,000, 9,000 to 12,000 level of the Satoshi value for Theta. And then I'm bullish as hell. Let's get Theta. Let's go hard. All right. Sol, same sort of deal. I'm not seeing anything that's really getting me too worked up yet. My mind can change and I'm happy to do that because this is, uh, I'm looking for long-term positions here and I want good prices because I have patience because I'm going to be holding it long-term anyway. I don't need to uh, FOMO in at the beginning to then hold this thing for a long time. I, if I have patience in the beginning, I can have patience throughout the investment. That's what I'm doing here. I'm still waiting. This looks okay for a little bit of a turn. I think we've still got some trending down to go because Solana, it went hot for a long time, a long time, very high. That's the USD. Same deal with the Bitcoin value. This schematic is just pulled from this little area here. I don't use them that much. It's just a little fun thing to have a look at. Could go back down. It Maybe it doesn't go that far. Maybe it just comes to these levels, but I still think it needs a little bit of a bleed out time here. And Again, I don't want to lose Bitcoin value. Matic, same sort of deal. You can see the charts are very similar. They're all broken underneath their 50% zones. 
except Matic BTC, which I still think will bleed out as well. After going up so heavily, I expect it to come back into these lower levels. Pretty much that's what's happened across crypto forever, forever. Even Ethereum did this. So that's why I'm going to be patient with Matic and keep watching it, have my alerts. I suggest you do the same. Use TradingView, use something, have alerts. And so you are set up ready for when these uh, are better buys. I'm not looking at only the dollar pairing, all right? The dollar pairing may stay the same, which is why I'm buying Bitcoin so that I can then go and buy the Matic when this bleeds out further, right? I want to reduce my risk. Reducing my risk means just buying Bitcoin and keeping the plan really damn easy. Link, it's also bled out. Maybe the dollar value here is okay. Maybe we see it a little lower into the 12s again uh, because it has bled out pretty hard, harder than I expected. But the BTC is holding up okay. I've been buying at these lows. This was the first time I bought Link was at these lows against its Bitcoin value and Link in general. It's the first time I ever bought Link. And then I also bought some more at this low and then when it broke out again. So on average, I'm about break even, but it has failed at its 50% of the retrace. And if Bitcoin takes off, Link may continue down, in which case I'll probably reduce my exposure to Link and keep it in Bitcoin or something else, which I can see rising. This one's a trickier one because it doesn't move the same as the rest of the altcoins, especially in its BTC value, because it had its peak back in August of last year and not many others were peaking then. DeFi was and that sort of that, that market was. But um, Link, as everything else was running up from January into May, it only did this small little rally move here. And if Bitcoin rises, as I said, I suspect this might come down. If it breaks these lows, I have to reduce my position. It's just I don't want to be exposed to the riskier side of holding something that's falling in value. Easy just to be holding Bitcoin. Now onto my favorite crypto at the moment. I'm not going in all in in the one hit. I am waiting. I'm being patient because this has still got a downtrend to it. Lower highs, low, high, high, high. They're all lower and we keep breaking down lows. All right. But it's on my chart. So I have my alerts. I want to get some more of this, more uh, Monero here. And so I think we'll probably come back, test these levels of the five, uh, 50, 500, whatever I got on the side here, and then maybe a little further down. But this was some strong volume out of the low. And uh, XMI USD back down to around the $200. I do want to see some sideways movement here. But my main eye is again on the BTC value. And I like this because overall, look where it's sitting compared to its previous highs. Its previous highs are way, way back up here. If I take it off log, you can just see how far down we are. I'm not expecting it to come back up here, but maybe if we get a little move up, then I'm uh, there's a less risk, res less riskier downside in something like this, in my opinion. And again, I would take the same precautions as I have done with Link. Should it continue to break down, then I'll have to reduce my exposure to it and just get back into Bitcoin. All right, so that is my look at the cryptos. Lastly, for the Aussies, Coming up to tax time, if you want to get your superannuation, your retirement funds into cryptocurrency, go and check out New Brighton Capital. Link to this is in the description down below. Book in your free 20-minute consultation. Use uh, Pazino and you will get $300 free credit to towards your annual fees with New Brighton Capital. So that's to set your superannuation up into some crypto. Get some crypto with that super money, which you're not going to see for who knows how old you are, 30, 40 years 20 years, depending how old you are. And personally, I like the look of cryptocurrency, putting my super into that there, which you guys see on my Instagram account, which you can follow. Link to that down below. Daily q and A's over there at the moment. So check it out. Link is down below. Follow me on Twitter for updates on the charts and good old thoughts in the investment space. Check us out on the channel. Stay tuned. Subscribe. Like the content up. Plenty more coming out. I hope you guys have been enjoying the live streams. Tons more on the crypto news and, of course, the charts, which we are following for our planning, getting in nice timing and not exposing ourselves to ridiculous risk with altcoins at the moment. We need to do that later, but at the moment, loving the BTC. All right, guys, like, share, subscribe. I'll catch you at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.